everyone. This is Sonya from Sonya's Books and Embroidery on a late on a Monday morning. I'm not sure. 11 something, I guess. And I am embroidering five bags, little, little backpacks. Our grandmother is taking her eight of her grandchildren to Disney World the next month. And she wants all of them to have a, a little bag that they can carry their stuff around in. I say that as a brave grandmother to take eight grandchildren to Disney World. I don't think I would do it. Not without an adult for each child. Because they would wear me out. Anyway, I'm using a sticky, a sticky back stabilizer. Uh, no pins or anything like that. Um... Sometimes these satin stitches like this, you have to really stabilize because it will start pulling um, from the sides because of so many because of so many because of so many stitches. I'm working on I'm still working on a quilt that quilt that I started the other day. It came a thunderstorm the other day, a lightning storm, so I had to uh, turn off my machines. Didn't want to, didn't want lightning to hit any of my computers on my machines. And then yesterday, my husband and my daughter and I rode up to Nashville to McKay's Bookstores. McKay's Books. If you've never been to a McKay's Bookstore, you need to go. It's a really cool used bookstore and they don't have just books. And the books are in, are, are in categories. So if you're interested in fantasy, they have a section for that. If you're interested in um, history, they have a section for that. If you are looking to get some information on a new hobby or a, to, you know, to be a collector of a certain item, then they have a whole section on that. And as you can see in the background, I am trying to organize some fabrics. I've decided that I have got to have some organization in my life, some major organization. Uh, six years ago, we purchased the house that we live in, and it was um, my grandmother's house. And I was so proud to have her house, and I felt like I was, for the first time in my life, that I was truly at home when we bought her house. And I, um, but when I when we first bought it, I had just started doing the memory quilts for the public. So we moved into the house, and. I was really, really busy and didn't get a chance to do the normal things you do when you uh, buy a house, and that's, you know, make curtains or, you know, buy curtains or make curtains and paint and all that. So, it's just all kind of gotten left laid aside. And, of course, you know, the first year I didn't make that many quilts, but the next year I made five times as many as I did the first year, and the next year I made... Uh, 20 times more than I made the first year. So, uh, things have gotten out of hand. Every drawer, every cabinet, everything needs to be cleaned out. Everything needs to be gone through. A lot of it needs to go in the garbage. A lot of it needs, I need a pile for about every member of my family that I can put this belongs to you and this belongs to you or I want to give this to you. But I, may, I took every bit of mine, my husband's, and my daughter's clothes yesterday, and just laundry basket after laundry basket put it on my bed. I have a big, cute size bed. And my daughter got a little annoyed with me, because I wouldn't let her go anywhere until that was all gone through. And me, uh, me and her and her daddy got around my bed, and they, we went through every piece of clothing, every sock, and we threw away two large black lawn and leaf, leaf garbage bags and we bagged up four large lawn and leaf garbage bags that I'm going to take down to South Alabama this next weekend and my daughter's having a move-in sale. Her and her husband have built a new house and she's had, she always purges every time they move, which they're in the army, so they move, they move quite often and but they, but he's getting close to retirement age and they want, they have uh, built a house and she's going to have a big purge this week. And this weekend, while they're moving, I'm going to watch her yard sale in the front yard while they move. 
I mean, me and little Levi, he's one years old. He'll be a lot of help. But, um, I'm looking forward to that. Anything that does not sell, I'll bag it back up in the long leaf garbage bags and drop it off at a thrift store or somewhere because it's not coming back home with me. But, um, yeah, things just got out of hand fast. When we bought this house, I mean, I went from zero to 100 as far as, you know, working, doing things for the public to the point that I didn't know where I was coming or going. I was absolutely uh, exhausted because it was just, it was amazing how fast word got around. It was amazing how fast people come running and, and said, would you make this for me? And would you make this for me? And to the point that I, everything just went crazy. It was just, it was insane that my Facebook page became as popular as it did and as fast as it did. But I've been blessed. I, tr I don't. I don't look at it as I try. I don't look at it as a burden. I look at it as, as a blessing. I'm truly blessed that so many people, you know, like my work and have let me work for them. Um, so it's, it's, it's not been a burden in any shape, in any form, in any way. I mean, there, I remember one Christmas, couple, about three Christmases, two or three Christmases ago, I cried for four days because I had to, and I'm not a crier. I'm, I'm, I'm tough. I'm not a crier, but I had been so busy and had to move my sewing into my living room. The room just inside the front door, the room where the only, I don't have a den and a living room, I have just a living room, and that's where we watch TV and where people came over, and I had moved my shop, my sewing, into there because um, my, I had started out in my little building outside, it was 8 by 12, and I had gotten, I had gotten outgrown it, and so um, that was about three Christmases ago, I guess. And I had outgrown my little building because it got cold weather and I couldn't heat it. I could not safely heat that little building because of all the fabric that I had and all the lint and threads. I was afraid I'd burn my little building down and I probably would have. But I um, got, um, I told my husband after Christmas, I was able to put up a Christmas tree about, about that big because there was nowhere to put a big tree. I mean, I had a... Uh, I had a mess. I mean, it was a mess, and I had not bought anybody, anybody anything for Christmas, and I have a slew of grandchildren, and I had not bought anybody anything for Christmas, and it was, and I just, somebody hurt my feelings that Christmas, and so, uh, I, um, just, I cried for four days that Christmas, and then after Christmas was over with, and I got up off the ground and dusted my britches off, I said, um, told my husband, I said, I either get a bigger shop or I quit. So I got a bigger shop. This one is 12 by 32 foot, and it's full now, but it's safely, can be safely heated and cooled. And, um, but I think if I had 10,000 square feet, I'd probably fill it up too. But right now I've got a mess because I am organized, reorganizing my shop. And I may gather up some fabrics that I've had for a while and take those down to the yard sale this weekend at my daughter's and maybe get rid of some of this fabric. I've got a lot of fabric that I've had it a long time and with good intentions of using it on quilts and then it just didn't work out the way I had it planned. So, um, it's, I'm not a hoarder. I mean, I don't want to keep fabric just because, to say I've got it. I don't want to be that person. I want to, you know, if, if I if I could get my, my shop and my home organized and, I, and my house, I want to get rid of every single article that is not necessary in my life. And think about that. If you got rid of everything in your home that was not necessary in your life, now, I'm not talking about throwing away sentimental things because they're not necessary. I'm, a, I'm very sentimental. I've got some things that belong to my mother that I would not take a million dollars for. 
but uh, not that much. She didn't have that much, you know, when she passed away. She didn't have a lot. Never had a lot her whole life. And so I don't have, a, but if you, I have a, I have a cracked, you know, back year, but she's been gone 27 years. You might, about years ago, they had the potpourri oil, and they had these little tiny looking little crock pot look things, and you put that oil in there, and it, it was a mess if it got knocked over. I've got one of those that belonged to her. It's in my cedar chest, but it's got a crack in it, so it's not even any good anymore. It's absolutely worthless, but uh, it's not going anywhere. I'll keep that. I've got some quilts that were my mother's. I've, we've got some things that were my husband's mother and daddy's and, and, and things like that. But if you go through your clothes and you look through your clothes and you say, I forgot I had that chunk. Or if you go through your clothes and you see something that says, well, maybe if I lose a few pounds, I can wear that again. Chunk, get rid of it. If you lose a little weight, celebrate. If you lose some weight, celebrate and go buy yourself something new. But do not hold on to something because you think you might be able to wear it one day. And so that's what I'm trying to teach my 20-year-old daughter. She's she likes to keep everything. Yes, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. That sugar bar? Sure. Cool. You like that bag? Yeah. Just got it done. Huh? I just finished this one. And sorry for the interruption. My husband had went to the store to get some hot dogs. My grandsons are visiting today. My little Noah, he would stay all the time if I would let him, but he exhausted me. But, um, he um, had no idea that I was filming. And I guess he can watch it with everybody else. But anyway, just use the sticky back stabilizer. Let me get this off and show you what the end result looks like. There we go. I used the Disney font. And we have a... Is it Charlie? Charlie. I guess I should know that. My daughter's name is Charlotte. I've, never, I've called her Fred... I called her, um, I used to call her Fred, called her Charlie Beth, Charlie Elizabeth, called her Charlie Beth. Anyway, got the first one done, only four more to go. And the other, I've got one here that is a lot different than the other four. And this is, this big old mammoth is a lot thicker. And I'm not going to be able to put the name on this one on the front. I'm gonna have to put it on the back. There's just no way to put this on the front. But anyway, back to my, you know, I wanna go through my kitchen. I've got like a whole bunch of cookbooks and I don't use those cookbooks. I cook the same thing all the time. I've got one cookbook that you can tell I love. The back and the front, the, the front cover and the back cover are gone. Well, they're not gone, but they're not attached anymore. I've still, I got, I, I kind of need to get a, a rubber band and put around those cookbooks because that cookbook, because the pages are all coming out and it's falling apart. But I, I love that cookbook. It's got several things in it that I pretty much got memorized. But just in case, I, I love, I've had that cookbook for, oh my, thirty years, I guess. I guess about 30 years, but I've got some cookbooks in there that need to go. I don't need, all that stuff collects dust, and you know, and I go to some people's houses, and they'll have like what knots everywhere. I don't want no whats or no knots. I, those are all dusty, just a dusty mess. If I've got a little figurine or something that belonged to my mother or my grandmother or something, I'll wrap that sucker up and put it in a cedar chest. I do not want to have to, to dust a bunch of little things. My daughter, and her husband just moved into the house they're renting now uh, down in Enterprise a year ago. And they had bought this really nice sectional sofa that's got one of the chaise lounges on the end of it and the big ottoman. And I have wanted one of those for a long, long, long time. And 
my couch is worn out. My couch was worn out when my husband's mother, my husband's daddy gave it to us. He had enough furniture in his living room for two or three living rooms. And he had, that thing was worn out when we got it. And I'm going to throw it away. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even insult someone by trying to give it to them. But the chair and a half, or the glove seat, whatever you call it, uh, my daughter wants to put that in her bedroom, which maybe she's collecting things for her own apartment. I don't know. She's 20 years old, and I know she has have has fantasies about what it would be like to live on her own. But um, I know eventually she'll move out. I hope she doesn't move a long way off. I seem like I have you have when kids get to a certain age, they scatter everywhere and it's impossible for everybody to get together at one time again and that makes me sad because so many years they were all around the same table it was like feeding time at the zoo and then you wake up one day and it's just you and your husband sitting you better like your husband because one day you get up and you um, realize it's just us what we're gonna do now and a lot of times after you know somebody's kids have all grown up and moved away, the husband and wife realized that they had nothing in common to start with, except the children. But I have met my husband and I enjoy a lot of things together. We like to go for rides and, and see what we can see. We like to go to the mountains. We all we enjoy we enjoy spending time with our grandchildren and we enjoy reading. We we enjoy British television. We love British television. Uh, especially detective shows and we love Downton Abbey. We, we love to watch TV together. We um, are trying to get him into a hobby. He doesn't have a hobby. He uh, is a paramedic down in Tuscaloosa and he works three days and comes home for a long weekend. And we have a camper. We like to go camping. We have a lot in common. And, you know, we're just trying to raise our children and, and see that they're on good sperm footing before we do anything like take the camper somewhere. I'd love to take the camper to Gatlinburg, but my husband is extremely uptight about pulling that camper. I cannot ever see him pulling that camper more more than a hundred miles from home. And uh, but anyway, just wanted to get caught catch up with everybody. It's a Monday. It is was raining a few minutes ago, but it's, it appears to have stopped now. And I've had my air conditioner has been on out here undisturbed all weekend. The door has not been flopped open and closed all weekend. So um, it's been closed up in here with itself and it's cold in here. And I thought, well, I don't want to turn it down because it takes it so long to get caught back up before um, I don't want to get it, I won't turn it off and it get hot in here and it take the rest of the day it's hot in here. So um, but I'm gonna have to turn it down because it's, it's, it's freezing me. I don't like to be hot, but I don't. Being too cold is not fun either, so I'm gonna have to turn that thing down and get um, these backpacks done. I've got a, I got stuff that needs to be shipped today. I've got a um, dinosaur quilt that I finished. It's going to North or South Dakota, and I've got. Um, got to put a bi the binding on it and then I've got um, some other quilts that's got to ship today I did I tried to have a nervous breakdown last week but didn't have time I got so if you deal with customers on a regular basis sometimes it's challenging and I understand they want their quilts but you know I can't do it one at a time it's just absolutely impossible if they did more than one at a time I sometimes have three or four started, but I can only finish them one at a time, and I'm doing I'm doing the best I can. But anyway, I'm gonna I've got to redo. I think I've, I think I've got this little part right here, but it doesn't really go anywhere. It stops in the middle. There's some long side pockets, I guess, for like water bottles or whatever. But this part right here, if I put the name in this little area right here, I believe it'll be okay because I really didn't want to put it on the back because the rest of it's up there on the front so I'm going to try my best to put it right here in this area because like I said it's sewn in the, it's sewn in the middle it doesn't, it's kind of 
the song in the middle right there. It's got these long pockets down the sides. And it's got this zipper thing right here. And then it's open all right here. So if this, I don't think this little part right here would interfere with being able to use your back. So I, that's what I'm going to try. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate all of my subscribers. Uh, when I reach 250 subscribers, I will be doing another giveaway. I haven't decided yet what that's going to be, but I will be doing another giveaway. Um, I have, um, I don't, you know, it seems like the more subscribers you get, the faster your channel, you know, goes. So right now it's 183, and that since about a couple of months ago, it was at less than 100, so it's doubled. And um, I appreciate all of you, and, uh, you know, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and as soon as I get some things organized, I am going to do a lot more quilt um, assembly videos. I'm also giving classes. I've got some Hobby Lobby classrooms reserved, and if you would like for me to come to your area to do a t-shirt quilt class, then just uh, get in touch with me and, and let me say, right now I'm going to stay mostly in the southeast well the rest of the year this year I will not go any more any any further than this right this the southeast Alabama maybe the edge of Georgia maybe the south part of Tennessee and then next year uh, I may plan to venture out a little further we'll just have to see how it goes anyway thank you all so much have a great Monday and uh, enjoy your day and uh, my grandsons are in the house we to have a hot dog with their pawpaw and um, clean out a drawer, clean out a closet. Just don't, you know, a lot of people say, oh, it just overwhelms me. Don't do it. Don't look at it the whole picture. Look at one thing. Look at a, a look at the closet in the living room. I've got a closet in my living room. I, I think it was supposed to be a coat closet at one time, but who uses a coat? I don't, I don't need a coat closet. I very rarely wear a coat. So my husband put shelves in it, just all the way up and down. And it's got crap in it. It's got crap that, it's where you put crap to go and die. That's, I mean, there's stuff in there that you open up and like, wow, it's like Christmas time. You're like, I forgot I had that. Well, you didn't need it if you forgot you had it. So clean out one closet today. Or clean out one kitchen drawer. Clean out your junk drawer. I promise you, you will feel 10 pounds lighter. And you will feel so much, mentally, you will feel so much better. So I, today, last night, I did, took all the laundry. My daughter was a little bit upset with me for, I could see the look in her eye every laundry basket full of clothes that was dumped on my bed. But, you know, if you've got more clothes that, fit, then, that will fit in, then will fit in your closet, you've got too many clothes. And that's my goal last night, was that mine and my husband's clothes fit in the closet. And our closet is not a walk-in closet with these, all these different shelves and all these different size you know, where you can hang different shirts and pants and all. No, it's an old timey closet with one rod across it and a shelf across the rod. And my goal was to see that our clothes fit inside that, and they did. They fit in the closet. And so, you know, clean out a closet or a drawer. Uh, you know, clean out your car. It makes you feel so much better to get rid of stuff that you do not need. And I, I am here to testify to that. I would like to be, by the end of July, I'd like to be 500 pounds lighter than I am right now. I would like to be 500 pounds lighter in junk than I am now. I've got two buildings that's got fabric in it. This, this building and then my original building that I used to sew in. Got plans for that small building. And um, hopefully I'll get, I get that both everything cleaned out to where I can have all of my sewing stuff in one building get that little building completely cleaned out because I've got big plans for that little building and I want to move it to the front of my shop that I have now and have everything in there that is uh, you know retail a retail area for people to come in and they need a shower gift or they need a, a birthday gift or they need a wedding gift they can come in there and see what I have available at that moment purchase it and be gone and not have to place an order so that's my plans for my little building but I've got a lot we've got a storage unit if you have to have a storage unit you've got too much stuff 
and we have a storage unit so we we've got way too much stuff way too much stuff it's time to lighten the load and get rid of all this crap I mean we've got four vehicles and every one of them needs cleaning out I mean it's just <sighs> overwhelming sometimes how much crap you can accumulate in a period of time we've been in this house for six years but I thought we bought, you know, it's, every time you move, it's a good time to clean out. But we were so, in such a tizzy to get moved and everything that um, brought a lot of crap with us this last time. So we've been here six years, and it's time to clean out the clothes, clean out the closets, clean out all this. I mean, the, clean out your linen closet. You know, truthfully, you only use those sheets that are on top. You use, typically a person only uses two sets of sheets unless they only do laundry once a month I usually I could get by with one set of sheets because I strip the bed wash them and dry them and put them back on there so I only need one set of sheets I've probably got six sets of sheets you don't need that many sets of sheets I mean unless you got you know every bed in the house is the same size and you just switch them up or whatever I got two beds in the house and they're dramatically different in size but anyway, thank you all so much, and have a great. <clears throat> got to get my money. Got to get my week started, and get some things going on. So appreciate y'all so much for watching. Bye bye.